Hey guys, this is Ponywine. Today I'm going to be coming to you with something a little bit different. It's going to be my 3000 sub special, and it's going to be on how to rocket jets. And to start off with, thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. Uh, for all the subs, the comments, the likes, the input, everything. I didn't think I'd be at 3000 subs at this point in time, so it's been a great ride so far. I'm going to keep going. So, my way of giving back to you guys right now is to go ahead and cover a topic that pretty much is what I do as my focal point for my channel. It's rocketing jets. It's my niche. It's what I like to do the most and I think it's what I'm the best at. So to go along with this, I'm going to cover a few different types of shots in this tutorial. So the first one is going to be the most basic, the easiest shot for everyone to handle. Now before we get into these, I'm going to first talk to you about why I like to use the rocket. Now whenever I'm engineer, I always have a rocket supplied to me. I, I don't use a javelin and I don't use a stinger. Reason being is because I like to be able to be versatile and fight against any vehicle I would come across in the battlefield. So for me, I can rocket jets, aerial vehicles of any kind just fine as well as I can go ahead and run into a tank and be able to defend myself. Whereas if I had a stinger, I could maybe shoot a chopper or a jet down, but when I came across a tank, LAV, anything that's a ground vehicle, I'd be in a bit of a bind. And the other part to that is that with a stinger, you're not really guaranteed to get a kill. I know that when I fly a chopper, if I get disabled, I can easily land my chopper, fix it, and go off and fight again. Whereas if you get hit by a rocket, you're of course going to die. So let's get back onto this. The first shot, like I said, we're going to cover is the vertical shot. Now what I mean by this is that when a jet is coming down, either strafing at you, strafing at a tank, anything that's basically on the straight line path with you, and they then come down and pull up and you shoot straight up, that's what I, I mean by saying a vert shot, vertical shot. Now for me, I always hit fire my rocket. I, I know it's not technically a hit fire since the rocket is on your shoulder, but that's what I'm going to say for this video. I don't aim down sight, reason being is that it takes away from my ability to watch the jet for as long as possible before I shoot. And also on this note, I play at 50% sensitivity on consoles. Now, this is different for PC players, but at the same time, I know that some people are going to be much lower than that in sensitivity, and some people are going to be much higher. So really, if you're going to want to rocket jets, you just got to get used to it on your own sensitivity. So back to the vertical shot. Jets that tend to do this are ones that are either coming straight at the spawn, something like this, where they're going for infantry, but at the same time, they could be also if you have a tank or a chopper that's landed on the ground that someone's trying to fix. And for this shot, what I do, if they're coming at me, and I know that they're using, say, guided missile, and so they're just using their bullet stream at me, I'm going to wait for as long as possible until I know that they're going to pull up. And when they do pull up, I wait for about a second till they're right over me. So, so let's just say this, I watch it for as long as possible. As soon as I know that the jet's going to pull up, I then shoot straight up in the air. And that way, I know that the jet will be going right over that path, and I have a high probability of taking it out. I will cover the different scenarios that you can do this with, but for now, that's my basic um, analogy, or my basic strategy that I use for a vertical shot. So, guided rockets, people that use guided missiles, guided rockets for jets, they tend to shoot for the longest period of time, so they're going to come as close as possible to you when they're trying to hit you with their bullets. So if you can dodge for long enough, you can bait them to get pretty close. And on that note, use whatever obstacle you can to defend yourself. So a box, a crate, a building, something, and that will help to lure the jet ever so closer to you so that you can pull the shot off easier. Now, it's a different type of a shot when they're coming with rocket pods. This is a different type of shot that I'm about to go over. This is the straight on shot. For instance, say that you're in your tank, you're fixing the tank, and all of a sudden a jet's doing a vert strafe on you with rocket pods. What they tend to do is they shoot the rocket pods. They don't shoot their main cannon for the most part. Then they pull off before they can ever get close to you doing a vertical shot. So what I like to do when I know that they're doing rocket pods or if they're even a better pilot and they just don't want to get shot by a rocket, as soon as I start seeing that stream of rockets come, I aim from the hit fire position as I said before just a little bit above them uh, just a little bit above the jet and that will account for the drop in the rocket to go ahead and hit the jet that's at long range if they're mid range and they're decently close I aim right at it and the reason being is that the rocket when it first comes out of a SMA or an RPG it goes up a little bit and then it comes back down so it will account for the drop and I can hit this shot on a very high frequency um, I have no difficulties when jets are coming straight out of a tank or something of that matter. You can aim down sight, of course. This is me, for me, a 
it's just a preference. I like to do it. It's easier for me. I have muscle memory for it. When you're able to start doing something on a repetitive basis, you get used to it, and that's what you're accustomed to. So whatever you guys are most accustomed to when you're just trying to do this, stick to what you're good at, and from there, just work it, and it'll become muscle memory, and you'll be able to do it over and over. That's the whole point of this. Now, that's the, vert or that's the straight on shot. On that note, though, if a jet is coming low at you and is trying to roadkill you, aim a little bit below the jet. That will account for the jet coming at a lower altitude to try to hit you. And that shot you can hit quite a bit too. You have to worry about that shot though because the rubble a lot of the times will kill you. But that's how you do it. If they're coming low and they're trying to road kill you, aim a little bit below the jet from the hit fire position and you're good to go. When they're coming from far away, aim just a little bit above it. When they're coming from mid range, aim right at it. So that's the straight on shot. So we've covered the vert and the straight on. Now the third, which is the hardest for me, is the whip shot and what I mean by that is if a jet is strafing another target infantry vehicle doesn't matter and they're coming from the side of you what I do is I whip my shot to where I predict that the jet is going to be so the best way to do this is if that jet is shooting his main cannon rocket pods it really doesn't matter whatever he's shooting he's giving his line a path away what you do from there you whip to lead to where you think that jet is going to be and it could be on that line of bullets that stream whatever he's shooting and you shoot for that target. It's the whip shot. So you're just basically taking your aim, whipping it to the side to where you think he's going to be, and you shoot it. Now this will come with time. Once you get a few hits on jets, it's going to be much easier, and you'll be able to repeat that process. But my suggestion is that if you see the stream of bullets, whip to where you see those bullets are going and shoot from there. So those are the three different types. It's the whip shot, the vert shot, and the straight on shot. Now those are the three I'm only going to cover. I'm not going to cover any kind of trick shot or jump out of jets or my transport switch seat shots. None of that. We're going to cover some this topic so that on, on a way that everybody can use it. And when I say that I mean playing the objective, doing your vehicle play, whatever style you're playing with. So the scenarios that I run into these and as I said before there's two different types of jet pilots. There's the ones that use the guided and there's the ones that use the rocket pods. The guided are going to come closer to you than the rocket pod pilots from my own um, my own view on this topic so every, every time I've run into people with guided they come closer to you they're the ones that I tend to hit with the vert shot the people with rocket pods are the ones I tend to do with the straight on shots now the scenarios change of course there's the scenario where they're spawn, um, spawn trapping they're gonna be just sitting there strafing the vehicles and the infantry that are spawning at the base this is when I tend to hit the most people with those vertical shots now when we go into, say, you're playing on a flag, you will probably most likely run into both types of pilots a lot. And for that, you have to be able to adjust. If you see that a pilot is going on a pretty much a slow path and then he dips for a, sh a sharp angle, he's most likely using guided. So you can try to bait him for as long as possible because he's probably already spotted you. Use some cover, bait him in, and do the first shot. Now, if they're using the rocket pods and you see that when you're on base, then of course do the straight shot. Now, another scenario is the tanks. Tanks are pretty much the third packing order for jets because it goes jets, choppers, and tanks, then infantry. So tanks, you're of course going to be a big target to jets, whether it be with them using guided or whether it be using the rocket pods. If, and like I said, just adjust to the shot from there. Most of the time, I run into people with rocket pods attacking the jets, and they're very easy to pick off if you do it right. If you see that they're coming at a high angle that you're not going to be able to possibly shoot them with the tank, jump out right away, shoot your rocket, from however far they're going from, so if they're far away, like I said, aim just a little bit above, hop back in your tank for some protection, until, unless if you see that it's about to blow up, and then fix the tank, and do a repeat process if you miss them, and they're going to come back again to try to finish the tank. Now for me, the one that I run into the most now, of course, is the choppers. I love to fly the choppers, and jets always go for choppers. Always. So, if you're saying getting disabled, and you can talk to your teammate, you land that chopper, whether it be inbounds, out of bounds, because sometimes you don't have a choice. But what you do is you let your teammate know, you go ahead and fix the chopper, I'm going to try to defend it really fast. Because it doesn't matter if you take back off again, if that jet's going to keep just taking you down. So let your teammate try to fix, when that jet comes back to try to finish the chopper, which he will most likely, you can take him out. Those shots are pretty easy because they're so focused on the chopper that they're not going to really pay attention to the infantry guy with his rocket. And I hit this one a lot. The shot I can do on any pilot it really doesn't matter. I, I, most of the clips that you're going to see in this video are on above average pilots. It's not going to be on just your random bad pilots. Um, 
the last scenario, of course, that I didn't cover was just um, the simple factor of the force shot that I didn't cover. If you see that a chopper is being shot at, or if you see that your friend is being shot at, have them come towards you. Or if they're pretty far away and you see the stream of bullets from the jet, shoot at it. Just do a, a guess shot at that stream of bullets. Hopefully they don't move. It's a luck-based shot most of the time, but you can pull it off quite a bit. But the other one on that matter is if you could talk to your teammate, have them bring the vehicle towards you, whether it be the chopper or the jet, because that jet's going to be strafing over. If you have a teammate in a jet, have him fly right over your head, make sure he's flying straight, then do the first shot on the jet that's trading. It's an easy shot. Now, if the chopper's a little bit more difficult because they can't sit still for too long, obviously, but you can adjust that shot and help take out the enemy. And from there, they can keep going on in the battlefield. So guys, that's basically all I have to really say for the Rocket tutorial. If you guys have any other questions for me on this topic, please ask away. I, this is something that I really like to do. It's something that I think would benefit more players if they were to do it more often because it changes the habits of jet pilots. They don't like to be shot down by rockets, so they're going to ch change the way they fly most of the time. And this will help your team win. The second part that I was going to cover that I haven't yet is that this is going to be one of my last PS3 vids for a while. Reason being is that I get my PC parts in on Tuesday and from there I'm going to build my computer and I'm going to go ahead and make a transition into PC gaming. And on that note, my videos are going to change in style a little bit from just doing these rocket shots because that was the niche I had for consoles because I can't compete with anything otherwise on PC. And also, um, just the fact that my editing software was pretty weak on my computer. So with the new computer, I'll be doing montages, dual tages, um, infantry clips, tank clips, dual, uh, lots of different types of videos. And if you guys want to see me try to do something, let me know. And guys, for that, that's the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this information, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day.